Well, that's the start of things. One owner car guy and breeder, and it's gonna be kind of a walk around video here of the lot. A couple things have changed a bit, and I know I might have shown this bike, but this is a 09 BMW with 650 miles. It's a police bike, got the police bags and everything. Sweet bike, got the paraglider. But going outside to take a look, I got the Corolla up, the rear wheel drive Corolla. Lots of unique stuff for sale. And the Bronco, the Rover, have actually brought the Bricklin over to this place. So you're gonna see stuff happening on this. This Bricklin is it's in good shape and I have tried to guard what I can. You don't wanna with the door situation, you got a unique deal with the way you have to cover the windows without rolling the windows up or you can't get in. I gotta get that going. And he dropped that thing off pretty close to the Peugeot. Yeah, it was hard without it running. Got the uh, Volvo um, P1800, got a 220S here. We're out here to see the Corolla and it's all decked out now. I don't remember if you, well, I don't remember. I don't know if you remember seeing it before we did the buffing. Oh, it's such a nice little car. Hang on a sec here. Yeah, he's got a plate on it for me. Nice car. I'll go for a ride in it. Um, this one here, it came in a while ago. It's my uh, another guy that's here. The interior is beautiful in it. Let me block some sun rays there for you. Great shape, um, cheap, make a great deal on that one. And I'm gonna, oh, I'm missing a cap. I hate missing caps. I do, sometimes I wait a long time to get a missing cap. We don't have the cap? We don't have the extra cap? No? Always have the radios on. It's a nice little car. It drives nice. And we just actually put new um, brake calipers. The little sucker was just locking up. It had set for a little while. And we fixed that. This is an interesting deal here, how everybody merges. People think you're not supposed to be where you are and they don't want to let you in. Nice driving car. Good economical little car. Fuel lights on. A little bit of belt noise. Grinding on them wheels. I'm gonna ask him why it's grinding. You know, that's grinding enough that one owner car guy is gonna get out and one owner look. Kind of a more of a squall though. That's definitely brake related. Just grabbing a little bit still. We just put brand new rebuilt calipers on them. Brand new rebuilt. I guess that is how you call it. Oh, they look good too. That's some fluid there. It's not leaking. We just bled them, of course. Put a little paint on the bumpers. This is a nice little car. Little dings there. <laughs> Up front, I'm showing damage even if I'm just walking down the road showing something. But basically, oh, we idled right down now. I do dig these older cars. Hey, we 
we've got fuel now. The light went out. And you know, that is something with them brakes that could go away with like a little bit of time and use. They work great. Just don't like how they sound. Well, that's part of what I deal with here. It's like a question of do you take it farther, do you sell it like it is? Um, and I've already had people just, dude, you've got to tear this thing apart and make it into a, this kind of car. Or that, I don't know if they, it wasn't a rally car, it was a something. Drift car! <laughs> Man, I can't do that to this kind of stuff. And in doing so, they might not even like the rebuilt calipers that I put on it. But it's a running driving car now. I would think maybe it's a little rotor difference uh, because there's newer brake pads on it. They were just like put on a little while ago, it seemed like. Well, that's your test drive in this. We'll talk to Trent a little bit about it. See, it's just growling a little bit more than I like there. We'll see what the deal is. I'll have somebody take a look, and I'll have them get up, get it up on the stands, and I'd like to be under there checking this out because it just runs and drives great. I, I, I'll show you under the hood while we're here. Why not? Hey, Trent. So what's the deal here with this thing as far as the brakes? How far have you driven it? I just drove around here. So you haven't heard it growl a bit? Yeah, I'm wondering if it's just um, rotor. Where it was stuck on there. Yeah. Passenger side, that's exactly where it is. Is that in our shop? No, that's Daryl. I heard a horn honk down there, I didn't know where it was. Very, very original, very cool. And like I say, one of the coolest things about these I, I'm not a big Toyota Jap import car fan. It's just not my not my deal. But one of the neatest things about these is the fact you've got a a rear wheel drive car. So get your Chevy 350s and drop them on in, baby, because she's ready to roll. I'm just gonna walk around here real quick, show you some stuff, make you a deal on anything you see. It's dust collectors to me right now. It's just the way it it goes. I don't really care to get people down here and move these cars out no matter what. No, it's not like, in fact, that one I haven't even looked at in a long time. I like this car. Um, some of this stuff will be coming up. As you can see, don't have the motorhome in there for you yet. Um, it's not been brought up to get that stuff done to the back. That will be later this week. Um, and yeah, I did say that last week. Um, the 928, it's in great shape. What we've got with this one is a problem with the, hi guys, hi guys. What we got with this one is a problem with the, oh God, that paint's beautiful, isn't it? I don't know if you've seen it before the buff, but uh, this one's in great shape. And I had the seats redone. It's got that chocolate brown interior. Oh man, I want it. It makes you just want to sit in the car. God, it's beautiful. Um, power steering line is bad on this car. And that is being fixed. Um, actually, the place to get this particular line isn't open till Monday. This is a Sunday. I have waited on this car and waited on this. It's done. It's, I gotta wash it. I'm missing a wheel, man. And I hate that wheel. It really kind of matches kind of well, actually. The Cavalier will be coming up here. Um, just a cheaper car that I ended up having that is just a great little runner. Um, and it's just a nice little car. And it's cheap. And it's got nice paint. And I don't know what else to tell you about it. Uh, just kind of 
it's one of the next ones up for picturing and that's why it's out here all shiny and some of the ones that are a heck of a lot nicer aren't anywhere near shiny uh, in the whole gist of walking around here you see we've got the rover painted now that you I told you we we're gonna do the roof and the bumpers and the bumpers look great roof looks great we did the hood so that's done now you got the stripes they're on this you got the stripes on it's looking good looking good in fact it's already had time to get watermarks on it wait till you see this thing buffed out man it's gonna be absolutely beautiful in fact we've got the seatage out He told me he had this thing ready for me. He ain't got this thing ready for me, man. I'm ready to die stuff. Ready to die. Oh, he probably did it right up to here. See how people are there? I don't know. I think he went to town on that a little bit. Because I didn't have that much of it. And it is not going to be as perfect as just having new carpet. But it's also a lot cheaper. And it's something that I'm not going to redo. Well, here we go. And I do get water coming in here when it rains. And we've just got everything out here today and made a switch with the truck I've been showing you. Got the uh, 69 Ford out, the truck in. We're gonna start doing this. It took us a little bit of moving things around to fit the truck in here. Um, the BMW is up in the air and going to be blending this one here, this panel, and doing the entire hood. Um, and this side. So basically front clip. And it's not that it had been smacked or anything, it was just yucky. And it's a good video of it where it's just yucky. <laughs> um, the clear coat it came off. And that is your walk around, and I'm trying to think of what I'm doing here because I have two or three videos to make today. Got a rather big day. Um, check out some of my other videos. It's right here, my birthday, and getting my dad to go to the gym. He's got 185 pounds to lose, and he's supposedly on board this time and going to it. Snowmobile's coming up. You can check out my new um, website. It's hardener.com at www.hardener.com and <laughs> super valuable web domain name I'm using it for a, a free fitness thing cool other than that beaglespocket.com should be up tonight or tomorrow and be resolved I did get the Stock Gambles website up and stockgambles.com and on the channel I actually have um Uploaded two videos, got them edited, I uploaded eight, got them edited together. And so you should see two, well, part one and part two come up on there. Two more videos on stock gambles. I showed you the red, there's a full review of the red on, uh, Jeep on there. This is on there, this is a beautiful truck, 35,000 original miles. Club cab. And the Levi edition Jeep. And if you're, oh, I got the 600 over here now. Um, got a couple little things I'm fine tuning with it. Um, we got the seat working and all. It's not, I'm not gonna open this up. Got the Thunderbird. I actually love this Thunderbird. Great car. Um, 280, just did a review of this one. And so I'm up here in the mess of cars and I will make you a deal on something. Give me a call anytime, Nathan, 406-544-6919, and my webpage, www.oneownercarguy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Oh, the 420 SC. I was wondering why that's here. Why is that here? Because it's going out. It's set in my dad's driveway. He loved driving this one. This was the 44,000 original mile. Oh, God, I'm going to miss this car. I never drove one that drove like this. It's an amazing car. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, we're, oh, you're gonna get to see.
breeder is going to be all over the dogs every day. She thinks she's the. Uh, she thinks she's all over it, man. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Have fun, man. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, bud. Oh, and, they, and she she doesn't know. Well. They're just being dogs. You can't do nothing. It's it's funny if anything. <laughs> hey, you too, man. You the boss is up top there, huh? Oh, that's 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 King King Queen Tut right there. Yeah, you can tell too. She's doing it right. I got a little picture over there. That's how the little one is. She get me in trouble. Uh, well, you got to see the the near dog fight. My dog thinks she can take on all three of those dogs, and I'll tell you what. Every day, they, and they'll come and they'll hang out right in front of my place, and they'll sit there sometimes. They'll just sit there for like three, four minutes sometimes, and then dogs will go crazy. It's funny. <laughs> uh, look at Breeder. She's pacing, buddy. She's looking like what's going on. Well, end of the video. Just had to throw in Breeder because she she is protecting the place. There's certain people and dogs that she just is not into. Did you run them off? Did you run them off? Did you ran them off? Oh, I get your foot. Did you run them off? Did you run them off? Oh, you're such a good girl. It's hard to do on a tile, ain't it? It's easier on the carpet, isn't it? It's a good girl. You want to be picked up, don't you? You want to be picked up. Well, that's it. One owner car guy and breeder. And that is the video. I'm telling you, somebody out there needs this paraglider. Look at this thing, man. You should hear it running, too. Oh, man. Okay. Well, oh, there goes the trolley. If you're in San Diego, hop on the trolley. It shoots right down to us, and I'll come pick you up, buy you a coffee or something, and send you on your way. Um, kind of a quick walk around, no prices or nothing, no this or that. If you've seen something you wanted, give me a call. I'll tell you anything you've seen here except for Mandy or Breeder. Can't sell Breeder. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, Bricklands and Corollas and all kinds of stuff coming up. Thanks for watching.